Hey guys! So I'm sorry I've been quiet for a while. I was just kind of taking some time to get my head right and um, focus on some other things. But within that time, I actually revamped my altar space. And so I figured that I would do an altar tour for you all. Um, you may have noticed that the table is different and the reason for this, also I apologize for the shaky cam, I'm holding my phone recording. Um, the reason for this is that I have had my other altar for about five years and I love and adore it. I, it's a hexagon table, which I'll actually show you. Right now it's, it's here, it's going to be my nightstand. All the herbs and stuff are still under there, but um, I love and adore this thing very much, but it I found it wasn't enough room, and I'm still going to use it in some sort of witchy way once my uh, studio is built downstairs, but I don't quite know exactly yet what that will be, but um, I just, for deity work and working with particularly these three goddesses, I really needed a bigger space to work with. So I actually, for the time being, had to kind of shuffle a few things around in our bedroom until I have my completed space downstairs. Um, and kind of just made this work. But I was finding that I would not, I did not want to go to the altar because it felt cramped and I couldn't really have the space for more than just Freya. And while Freya is my matron deity, I have wanted to explore more of my connection to both Frigg and Hell. So I decided to take this old coffee table of ours and bring it up here and rearrange, finagle, try very hard. Mm, it was a thing. Um, but I'm very happy with it. And so I figured I would share with you guys kind of what I have set up and the revamped space that I created and the breath of fresh air with the, the amount of room that I have here where I can just sit with my goddesses. So we are going to do a altar tour. So over here I have my decks as you guys have seen before. Um, Underneath is altar cloths, and then this is, inside this bin here, is my book of shadows, and um, a spell book I'm working on, and then my travel altar is inside there. This is my meditation cushion that I will leave the link down for below if you guys want to know where I got it. Um, right now I'm just going to sit on the floor with my creaky old house. Um, so as you can see, I kind of have a duality sort of going on here with this altar space and in the center here, I'm kind of calling attention to Ostara coming up and the spring equinox by just putting some oracle cards and then I'm protecting them with this uh, plexiglass here. So over here is a spot that I made for hell <clears throat> and, um, I love to use seven-day candles for devotional deity candles. They last quite some time. You can, they just, you can just keep lighting them. Um, the other candles that I really tend to utilize quite a bit in my practice are actually tea lights, as you can see. So it's usually a combination between the two. Occasionally I'll use chime candles and stuff, but yeah, anyway. Um, so over here I have just a um, tea light holder that a good friend of mine got me at the dollar store. <laughs> she had said th that they had them and I went and looked at my local one and she's like, no, no, I'll send them to you. <laughs> I was like, yes, thank you. Um, and then here is a beautiful crystal skull. This is the only one I have. I've wanted one for so long. And um, a lovely person that I follow on Instagram was getting rid of some of their crystals. And this was perfect, so I grabbed it from her and she was very kind. Um, right here are my prayer beads for hell. I 
designed these kind of. Um, I gave a rough idea to a really good friend of mine and uh, she put them together for me. Now I've only been working for with Hell for a few months now but it was kind of one of those things where she came into my practice and she wanted prayer beads, she wanted an altar space, she, she wanted she wanted to be here. I think she's actually been lurking around for quite some time, honestly, before she really made herself known. Um, right here is her offering dish, and this is just like a matching incense plate. I have some moon stone, this is jet, and then there is, if I'm not mistaken, snowflake obsidian, yeah, right here. Unless I throw it. And then her rune. I have a little crow. And then her picture. I have a dead rose and some crow feathers here. As well as, this is a piece of chalk that my friend Drew made me. I will link her shop and her channel down below, but I've just kind of kept it here by Hell. So that's Hell's space. Right here is a um, Vegvisir cloth that I actually got from a shop, which I will also link down below. They are wonderful. Um, they sell more than just this, but this is something that I ended up grabbing. This is what's called my working candle. I use this in pretty much everything I do. It's just my catch-all working candle. I also really like to display duality of light and dark on my altar, regardless of... I mean, this time it's a little more apparent since I put hell on here, but um, I always use these candles either for like the moon phases, representing the moon phases, or um, light and dark, having that duality. This is Freya's space. She is my matron, as of very recently after, you know, half a decade. <sighs> um, and so right here I have, this is a cat made from Mount St. Helens Ash in Washington. As you guys know, I'm from Washington State, so when I went to go visit um, Mount St. Helens, this is one of the things that I grabbed, and I ended up just keeping it next to Freya's altar after I ended up um, working with her as a deity. This is a piece of raw rose quartz that my husband gave to me on our anniversary. Freya's rune. Um, one of those crow skull charms. I also associate Freya with crows and birds of prey, particularly like hawks and stuff. This is a sunstone. And then I have a bloodstone. And then another kitty figurine that a friend of mine gave me. There's my lady. Um, her offering dish is right there. And this is a bone that I got off of a shop on Etsy, which I will also link down below, um, with her runes, her name carved into it. This is, I believe that's a coyote bone, if I'm not mistaken. This is a box that a friend had given me for my birthday a few years ago. Inside it I just have um, my Mjolnir and this is my runes that I use specifically to commune with these goddesses. Uh, particularly Freya because these runes have big Freya energy as you can see with the gold and the roses. These are made by um, Forge of the Phoenix. I will link her shop down below as well. Chelsea is very sweet and very talented. She uses these after out of um, she makes these out of reclaimed china, and I love them so much. Um, this is my Freya prayer beads. These were made for me also by the same friend who made my hell ones. She is a good friend, and I love her dearly. And she will watch this and smile. <laughs> Totally not using my teeth to uh, tighten that drawstring. Totally not doing that, guys. Okay. Put that back. I have my sweet old lady here visiting. Hi, Prue. Hi. She'll be 17 next month. I cannot hardly believe it. So you guys know I lost her sister Luna recently. Hi, hi baby. Hi. Hello. <laughs> 
Um, over here I have Freya's candle that I made, and then this is Frigg. So for Frigg, I have this beautiful little plate that's got a leaf on it, and then it's got her runes and some keys, which are associated with her, as well as I always keep um, birch by her. And then this is her offering dish. This is a seer stone, so half of it, is, one side of it is smooth and polished. You can kind of use it for scrying. Because Frigg is associated with scrying. Um, and then this is a Rhodonite. Um, I don't know why I have this here with her. It just felt like it needed to be with her, so that's, that's there. Um, this is one of my Freya candles that my friend Drew made me. Um, again, I will put her shop down below. It's kind of burned out now, but I was burning it earlier today. Uh, my cauldron on top of a fire safe dish, burning in some incense. And then that is my frig candle that I made. And my drinking horn. <laughs> So that is my altar, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and um, thank you for watching. Right, Prue? <laughs> As always, blessed be.